Look. I'm not gonna say where we was, but we was in Harlem, right? We was in some some hood. You know, we valid over there. Oh, we valid. I mean, we used to go over there, play ball, whatever, whatever. One of my best friends I used to have a basketball tournament. He had a basketball tournament that night. I think he, he, we we had a basketball tournament. I wasn't playing that night though, but he had a basketball tournament for his I think 14 or 13 U, something like that for Kennedy. For me, it was not Sugar Hill. Listen, it was in Kennedy, bro. Anyways, bro, we go some place, some hood, whatever. They got basketball tournaments in there. Whatever, we good. We chilling. We chilling. We chilling. We vibing. We vibing. Everything is calm. For me, one of my mans gets into an argument with a little ass kid, like a little kid. Like I mean, he's getting to argue with him, and. He's they, they screaming at each other. He's like, yo, suck my... Yo, my man said, my man said the Africa ass. Yo, suck my dick, bull. Suck my dick, bull. Like, my nigga, like, at that point, you finna get snubbed. You throwing a Frank for no reason, for me? And nigga's like, yo, stop talking like that. Like, like he's, that's what he's saying. Like, I'm gonna go get my mans with me. You gonna hop you, for me? Like, shit. Listen to me, bro. Basketball tournament, damn near finished. And then my mans right now, the African mans, he's panicking. He's like, yo, bro, I feel like they're gonna try to jump me, bro. Like, I shouldn't have said that, bro. I mean, yeah, nigga, you bugging. You should have said that, bro. So, me and my mans that had the basketball, the mans that, the mans that was playing basketball that night, me, it was me, him, and the African mans. It was three of us. We tell them, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie. The best thing you should do is probably like apologize to them or some shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. We fuck with them, but I don't know if we can save you for me. We cool with them. We cool with them niggas, but I don't know if we can save you from that, from that ass beat them, bro. Like, you feel me? Tight shit. We're like, yo, we probably just gonna have, I don't know if we're gonna end up fighting with this nigga or some shit, but we outnumbered right now. I'm kidding. We're just damn near the whole park. Whole park with this nigga, this little nigga, bro. Listen, though. End of the basketball tournament come in, they start plying on my mans. They're like, yo, they point at this nigga, whatever, whatever, whatever. We better leave the park. For me. We hit a corner, and then we seen them niggas behind us. They try to run up on us. And they had like the box cutters. Y'all niggas know what a box cutter is? New York niggas carried out the slash niggas, bro. They had a back, they had a box cutter on my mans. They back it out. They like, yo, you talking crazy, bro? You talking crazy, bro? They about a damn man style us now, bro. They about to stab him, not us. We just like spectators, but at the same time, bro, we trying to like calm niggas down. Me and my basketball man's we yo, bro, calm down, yo, come on, bro. I'll keep it a buck. We hit him with the gumminess. We say, yo, bro, he's from Africa, bro. He don't know anything about that shit, bro. He's, just, he, he, we told that nigga, we told that nigga, yo, he's kind of like he's the R word. He's kind of dumb, like he's kind of Ed. You feel me? He's, he's, he's that type of nigga. You feel me? I told him that we told him that he has a disability. Some niggas can't beat his ass. Word, gumminess, good fuck. Because I'm not gonna lie, he is very slow though. He's a little bit. Let me tell you, shit, he's very slow though. Let me. So we tell that nigga, bro. He's like, yo, bro, calm down. Don't slash him, bro. Like he's like, for me, what you want? To, what you want him to do? You want him to apologize, bro? He said, yeah, I need that nigga to set teasers. He said, I need that nigga to tell me sorry, bro. But we slashed that nigga. <laughs> my African man, yo, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> yo, yo. Basically, they press that nigga, bro. Whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, everything calm. They squash it. Whatever. Like, all right, bro. You just gonna have to stop talking like that, all right? Yeah, all right, whatever. It's calm. Type shit. They, he little man is basically. He little man that nigga. We have the corner. We go home. Type shit. Right? Listen to me. We go over the corner. We go home type shit. A couple days after, my man's that was playing basketball, he told me the story. I wasn't with him this day. Keep in mind, he used to be cool with them niggas. He used to go to Kenny and all that for me. There was this one late night. He was walking past that project to go to like basketball, whatever type shit. He was walking past that project. And they call him lacking. The man's that was playing basketball, he was so cool, cool with him. They run up on him. They say, hey, what's good, bro? How you, you feel me? You getting buckets like they trying to manipulate this nigga like. Next you know, they on the top of time and to rob this nigga, bro. Now they trying to rob my mans that was so called cool with them. They start running his pockets, bro. They taking his phone, his wallet. They trying to take his polo jacket. Bum ass polo jacket, too. Like, what the fuck? He like, nah, that's cool, bro. It's cool, bro. Whatever. He told me that story time. So basically, what I learned from that, bro, is like, these niggas is like grimy niggas, bro. You can't be trusting niggas, bro. You can swear you were cool with a nigga, but a nigga would turn on you like this, bro. Especially if you got, if that nigga's not best friends type shit. You could know a nigga, hey, bye, what's up? Then he would tur still turn on you, bro. I mean, but anyways, they ended up trying to rob that nigga. They did rob him. You know? Uh, he went home that day. He told me the story time on Messenger. He was talking, he he's telling me yo, what happened, what happened, what happened. I was like, yo, no way. That nigga tried robbing you? That nigga was just cool. That nigga's playing basketball. Nigga. Come on, this nigga's like low key kind of one of his teammates, bro. He played for a different U, but they be having like sometimes practices with each other and tryouts with each other, bro. That's what they be having, bro. So, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's what happened, bro. Like, imagine being a cooler nigga than robbing him the next day. That's the type of time that the niggas was on, bro. Damn, why y'all niggas spamming those fiending emotes, bro? Sham, you should have jumped. On the kid and crush his lungs. Bro, I was not fat at this time. Most of the story times I'm telling you niggas is when I was not fat, bro. I got another story time. Hold on. I got thinking some shit that happened in high school. Me and my mates were talking about it the other day. Nah, that's a, that's a bad story time. Hold on. 
I, I, you know what I do got to tell you about, though? 